Hello everyone. Welcome to my podcast The Hidden Power. I am your host Dr. Susan Karath. The topic for today is comparing to grow. They say do not compare. You and me, we all grew up hearing do not compare. Comparison is painful. But I would say we should compare. If you do not compare yourself with someone else, you will not understand what is your value, what is your credibility, where do you stand at this moment. When you go to a supermarket, you go to the fruit section and you look at every fruit and you then move it to either mango or grapes or orange section because among all the fruits these are the three fruits you like without eating different fruits how do you come to know about the taste that you like and when you move to these sections there is again subsections of oranges and different different uh, brands and prices and categories and everything so you again there is a comparison happens between the oranges and you buy the oranges that you like the mangoes that you like and come home and again there is a comparison happens uh between two shops that you bought mangoes or oranges oh okay last time i bought from this particular shop that was much better or this time uh, this so- shop was better or whatever there is always a comparison that you do in life or you may say last year or last season these mangoes were a little bigger and this is and it is a little small in size everywhere you can find this comparison then why do people say do not compare it is painful because we don't know how to compare one thing i want to tell you is you don't like comparison because when somebody tells you um you're not good enough or you are not coming to the level of that expectation someone else is having it is very difficult to digest right you know it is something like a criticism and always i would say criticism bit hard to take even though comparison is painful the reality or the truth is that without comparison no growth happens if you want to grow if you want to develop you must compare yourself whether you like it or not whether you are aware of uh it or not in life uh, you have been compared with many other people and your work is compared your personality is compared your character is compared when you go to an office for an interview the interviewer just take your interview and there are many candidates you have been compared there and you got a job then you perform in the office and then comes the performance review and there your performance definitely evaluated but again compared even uh you know you are a good performer there is a promotion uh, panel where you put your candidate for the promotion the next promotion there will be many other candidates equally skilled and having the same level of iq equally talented what happens the company or the organization again compared um yourself with other candidates and then give you or grant you the promotion or you know maybe you reject you you, you get rejected so in life when you go okay let, let's look at it in this way when your marriage happens and you are searching for a groom or a bride for yourself again comparison happens so <laughs> uh it may be because um, you know like uh, we say uh, we have some idea about a particular person or a particular thing in our mind and then again when you see when we want somebody like that or some a particular thing like that we go we look at and we search for things and we compare with what is the idea that we have in our mind this happens everywhere um the growth is something which uh, happens to people only when they come to know that there is something more uh special or something more better is available so how how i can be better than that particular um product for example if you go to a uh, 
you know mobile shop and then uh, to buy a mobile we always compare mobiles and see that which one is the cost effective one which one has got the more features in it and that is why every year maybe not a year maybe every month there is a new type of mobile is coming to the market and everything is like that we compare restaurants we compare food we compare clothes we compare brands we compare every the lifestyles we compare everything in our life and um then why we say do not compare we teach children no 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 do not compare comparison will make the children you know like upset and you know it will uh, you know like affect the child's growth actually if you do not compare the child's growth is affected now our problem is that uh, we don't know how to compare comparison is not to ridicule a person comparison is not to put down a person comparison should not give uh, painful criticisms to the person and uh, making the person feel so low and upset and demotivated rather the comparison should give a very positive impact on the person and the person should learn how to compare self in the right manner in the positive wa- manner in a development or growth oriented manner with other people who are achievers in every area whatever area they wanted to grow they can compare themselves with the best set um you know like we we say that this is the uh, standard that we keep and you can keep a person as a standard and you can slowly grow when you reach that standard keep another person as your standard and keep growing maybe you can set your previous you as your standard and then compare yourself in whatever uh, way you want to compare yourself comparison helps you to understand the difference which we say that gap between the best one and you so when you have that comparison then you say that what the gap is okay the gap is fine you know understanding the gap is the first step in your growth so when you understand the differences you look at it within yourself and you say what i can do what is that possible for me to change because the plasticity has to happen that means i can always change so when you look at the gap and you learn you acquire all the skills and whatever is there um you know you need to be focusing on cha- you, you should change and adapt and everything you need to just look at it, your strength weaknesses opportunities threat we can say the sort analysis you do everything is done and you say that okay this is my key, key performance indicators are set and that my key result areas are set i am moving on to the growth path so a continuous strategic plan is needs to be made to have the growth possible but the growth is not possible without having a gap analysis done or without knowing what difference it makes me from the standard that i set uh, for myself to grow so when you compare like that and even as a parents you need to teach the children how to make that comparison happens in a very healthy way and do that make the gap clearly understood and what is required to um oh uh, you know cover the gap and come up in 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 their life and move ahead in their life and a continuous growth is only possible when you when you know how to do that gap analysis when you compare with the high performers and you see where you stand and do all the necessary things to build yourself up to the higher and the higher and the next to higher level possible and that is how you need to grow continuously in your life so i would say without comparison growth is not possible because we don't know where we are going and which level we are growing and comparison must help us to grow more and uh, you know like in a better way you can compare yourself with others you can compare with your previous performance whatever um, you know com- way you compare the comparison must be done in the proper way to understand the gap uh, and f- and you need to acquire all the skills and mindset and the strategic plans to fill the gap and move ahead and that is how you can apply comparison in your life and build your life uh i have created this hidden power podcast which is thinking that the people will benefit from various uh, messages which 
again put it into their uh, thinking process and you should uh, put these things into your thinking process and see how this can be applied in your life that's why i give this to a layman's understanding very simplified form for you to understand apply it in your life the hidden power will make your personal transformation easy and flawless listen to the hidden power podcast every day to empower your life this is your host dr susan kardit I will see you in the next episode. Until then, live well and laugh more. May God bless us all.